Hey guys, welcome to this week's uh, video for 90 Day Fiancé Couple Predictions Tarot. You might want to watch these guys. I don't know if they're going to get taken down or what. Um, I got a message from YouTube and I don't know if it's like uh, under... I don't understand. I'm very new to like being on YouTube. I'm very new to... Uh, having a monetized channel so as far as I know the videos are staying up but uh, something about them they're under manual review I don't know so get them while you can this week's couple is going to be Fernanda and oh my god I forgot his name what's the dude's name what's his name Jonathan his name is Jonathan Fernanda and Jonathan all right, let's see what's going on. So first we're going to see, uh, and guys, this is just for fun. I don't know these people. I'm not talking trash about anybody. This is just fun. I'm a huge fan of the show, okay? I'm not, like, trying to be mean to anybody. But let's see. What can we know? What kind of person maybe is Fernanda off camera? Like, in person, what would she be like? And then what kind of person is Jonathan off camera? I already have my <laughs> impressions you know, of everybody on the show, but I, I just, I think it's fun to look at the cards and see what the cards say. Okay, so Fernanda, okay, we've got the Hanged Man and the Devil card, and both of these cards are Major Arcana. The Devil does not mean she's the Devil or that she's the bad person. That is not what that means, guys. Don't think that. The Hanged Man means she feels very stuck, and she feels like, like this is the time in her life where some big things need to happen or it's time to move forward but she's not quite sure what the next step is like i'm here now what do i do next man i don't know and kind of in limbo you know so yeah there's the whole thing about like you know um having to wait you know you can't just come here on the visa and start working or start driving or like so it's, it's it could be very boring you know and that could be a part of it too or it could just be like in her life yeah she wants to get married but maybe like she's not sure what else all she wants to do like the world is her oyster at this point and she just doesn't know what direction she wants to go in so this could be feeling a little bit stuck uh the devil is uh it could be very much where she's doubting herself like that's her issue or it could be that she's feeling trapped you know she's a lot younger than jonathan and she's in a you know whole different world and it could be where she's feeling stuck because sometimes with the devil card it means somebody feels very trapped and we do have the hanged man so that that could definitely be what's going on or it could be that she's really doubting herself you know she's a beautiful young woman but she might be feeling insecure about a lot of things or she might not fe be feeling very secure with him and so she might be like telling herself, oh, I can't or it's going to be too hard or I'm not enough. So there could be a lot of like self-criticism coming with this card. The fact that they're both major arcana, though, it does make me feel like this relationship. Again, there's a there's a karmic factor here between her and Jonathan. I think a lot of the times people watch the show and they go, oh, you know, people in other countries just want to come to America. And, you know, they're using the, the, the visa process. And I do think people want to come to America because there's this whole idea where there, there's like a ton of jobs and like life is easy here. People have that 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 american dream in their head and and it's very hard over here it's not like that it's not that easy but it's easier compared to a lot of other countries we do have to be honest um but you know i i don't think it's just that cut and dry like they're not just oh i want to go to america anybody will do like i think a lot of these couples do have like a karmic connection or, or like a soulmate connection which doesn't necessarily mean they're going to be together forever but Ooh, goodness, Jonathan, what is going on, buddy? Um, so, <laughs> Jonathan is showing up as Five of Pentacles and Six of Pentacles. Both are money cards, so this is going to let us know Jonathan is somebody who is very financially centered. His his thoughts, his actions, his, his uh, plans revolve mostly around finance. And the fact that Five of Pentacles came up... Um, is letting us know is that there was probably a time where he felt kind of out in the cold. You know, I know the show, he says he doesn't have the best relationship with his mom. And maybe so there was this time where he just kind of felt really out there in the world. And like, I don't have anybody I can 
depend on having my back and so this was going out and sometimes this could be self-employment like just trying to find your way in the world trying to find your place in the world and then six of pentacles is like this is fear of money this is being out on the cold this is not having money but there's like this whole adventure where you meet new people you meet your soul family so he's probably around a whole lot of different people than who he grew up with like he's come up and he has um like these hoity-toity friends maybe or whatever and now he's in the Six of Pentacles energy, which is this guy who can be generous and who can do good things with his money. So even though his mind is on his money, um, he's probably someone who, who's pretty generous at the right time for the right reason. Like he understands what it's like not being successful or he understands what it's like not having a ton of money at your disposal. So he's somebody who likes to be seen as like this hero. And that might be why he's into Fernanda because, you know, she's this young, sweet girl and it's like this whole uh, life, you know, like he feels like he's uh, coming in and being this, you know, wealthy, charming, generous prince who just comes in and like, you know, waves his hand and gives her a magical life. And I think that makes him feel good. So I think maybe there's a part of him that is in love with the image of her, like the physicality of her. And a part of him that's in love with the image this relationship gives him. Like he likes to be seen in that way. He feels like he's this heroic, wealthy person coming in and like creating magic in her life. So let's see what's going to happen. We saw last week in the show where he was dancing with that girl and she freaked out and ran away. And it's funny, if you go back and watch that clip the second time he's calling her, it sounds like he's saying, banana, but he's saying Fernanda. And uh, I don't know, that's just become an inside joke around my house. We shout banana at each other. Oh, gosh. Let's see what is happening here with the two of them. What is the tarot prediction? I like Fernanda because, like, she's not going to be bought. You know what I mean? Like, she's like, as much as it would be great to have a new life in America, my family is number one to me. And if you want me to leave my family, you've got to give me, uh, like, like, a sense of family here or I'm, I'm, I'm out. You know, so she definitely seems to have that attitude. But let's see what's happening here with the two of them. So let's see. Let's see what Tarot says. What's going to happen here with them? Three of Wands. So this is definitely a relationship that's challenging um, their ways of thinking. I think both of them are in this situation where it's like, this is not at all going how I imagined it was going to go. And I do love this person and I do want to be with this person, but this isn't how I imagined a love relationship would be. So I think they're both having like their mind blown right now or they're, they're being forced to expand their thinking or the way that they're looking at relationships and love. Uh, it could also be a sense of going out into the unknown. I don't know. I don't know why this popped up in my head. Maybe Jonathan is considering like uh, purchasing property in Mexico and maybe he wants to like do a half half thing where like, you know, uh, they travel and maybe like he's going to do business out there for a little bit and business out here for a little bit, because this could also be like expanding your business, this card. So maybe he's seeing that as a way of, you know, helping Fernanda so that she's not feeling so homesick and maybe he's just seeing it as a way also to expand his own business i think he's in real estate so maybe he's thinking about getting into real estate out there um but i don't know this just makes me feel like like going out there it could also be exploring it could also be traveling maybe he feels like he wants to take her away and show her the world for a bit go to different places that's a possibility as well uh, the way that it's manifesting is two of swords. This is being at an impasse, not being able to agree, not being able to see eye to eye, but not wanting to break up. I think that's where their energy is right now. Like they're just, they're not agreeing. They're not on the same page, but they're, they're not ready to throw in the towel just yet. Right? So as much as she's saying, hey, I'll go back and be with my family in Mexico, you know, yeah, I, I do think she means it. But I also feel she's still trying to 
um, get him to see things her way or to come around her way and feeling very stuck. Uh, they can't seem to get on the same page. Challenges. I Challenges moving forward. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. So money is going to be a factor here. You know, it could be, you know, the thought of all the money that's been invested into this process already and wanting to make it work and wanting to have things happen here. Um, so, uh... Or it could be where they're they're trying to find something to to solidify them or bring them together, like a common goal, so that they have something in common that they can work at. And so maybe he is thinking about business. Maybe this is thinking about a way, like something that he's gonna do where he's gonna make money, and he's bringing her into it, so that like they're working together as a team. Maybe the idea is if we have some kind of business venture together, we'll argue less or we'll have something to focus on or we'll have something like a common ground that might bring us together. Because I think what Jonathan knows, Jonathan knows well is money. I, I really do. I think money just comes naturally to him. And so that might be something where he just feels like, hey, I can teach you this skill and this is what I'm good at. Not necessarily buying her, like not trying to buy her, but trying to bring them together through some kind of maybe starting a business together or teaching her business or something what's coming in to help the relationship is the star and i think this is mostly about fernanda coming into her confidence and coming into her success because the star is somebody who's able to take chaos and turn it into beauty and into long-term success and somebody who's very creative somebody who's very artistic somebody who becomes an inspiration to other people we already know jonathan according to the cards that came up today is someone who likes to be generous with his money and wants to be seen as like a hero right so and fernanda seems like she has a really good heart so whatever they're doing with this business she might be taking it and helping people maybe she's helping people back home in mexico or helping young kids or something and like kind of being an inspiration to other people and once she gets into that like uh flow she's gonna start feeling good about herself what did we have before we had the devil right she was just in that doubt in that fear and in that doubt Maybe like just feeling like all I have going for me are my looks or all I have going for me are my body. So maybe trying to win people over with her appearance. But going from that to this, you know, the star is confident. The star feels good about herself. The star is financially stable. She's independent. So as she comes into this energy, then the insecurity goes away and that helps the relationship a lot. Sorry. Um, and then the outcome here is Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is sneakiness. It's, it could also be suspicion. It could be where as she's becoming more independent, you know, he's kind of keeping an eye on her. Or he's like, you know, trying to see what she's up to or looking at social media accounts or things like that. Or it could be both of them doing it together. I don't know why. This also gives me a feeling or a sense of separation but not breaking up so maybe there is going to be like a split residence where like you know like part of the time they're in one country part of the time they're in another country and maybe from time to time business is causing each of them to travel whatever they're doing and just kind of like watching each other while they're away like what are you doing are you behaving are you talking to somebody else um this could also be sneakiness this could be maybe jonathan finding ways to um ease her suspicions or finding ways of convincing her of things to to have her like not worry about the relationship but this is all pure speculation guys and this is just for entertainment so i don't know this this makes me feel like this is not a relationship that either of them are going to be able to get out of very easily they may have very heated arguments they may blow up at each other they may be like, okay, we're done. I never want to see you again. But then they end up getting right back together again. This feels to me like it could definitely have that kind of vibe where they're on again, off again. Uh, but yeah, so that's what I've got, guys. Watch these videos while you can. I don't know if somebody has complained about them. Like I did say, I did get a, a, a message saying that uh, uh, some of them are being reviewed or manually reviewed or something like that. Uh, but these are fun. I mean no harm by them. I love doing them. I'm a fan of the show. 
and thank you for uh, watching and be sure to check out your own reading i every week i do a a reading for each zodiac sign like a forecast for the week ahead so be sure to subscribe hit notification and watch those videos as well thanks guys